record. I hit record. So what's the Nomad crew doing today? We're gonna go uh, spruce up our hunting spots. A little bit better shooting lanes. It's a little later in the morning here, so we're gonna give her a whirl and change a few things. And try to get motivated. Jer Bear's coming up. He's gonna motivate us. I don't know if the if the uh, if the old gray bear has anything to say. This I don't know what he's doing. How we have to walk through the woods <laughs> today? Just today, though. All right. He's just he's just a silly fella. Trying to balance the camera here. <laughs> we need to have balance in a camera. Need to have. Is this still recording? Yeah. <laughs> Far out. Bet you never saw nothing like this. Look at me, Mom. I've made it to the big time. <laughs> Your turn. Give us a bit of silliness. Is it silly enough for it? <laughs> silly enough. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Hey, okay. see this? Cut down some of the dead this? branches. Cut. Wait a minute. Do that again. Is that magic? All right, what are you, Merlin? Hi. It's me. It's that cruel dog. I'm walking with the camera. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? You know what? We were just talking yesterday about how this is all supposed to be fun. We need to not focus so much on the taking of game, but focus much more on having a good time. I remember the old days back in the early 90s or whatever I don't remember when late 80s hunting in Gladwin and all I cared about was getting out but uh, when you're younger I think maybe you have a different view of things and as we get older things like with most everything else changes but I think you should always have that that useful exuberance maybe when it comes to having an opportunity to get out into the wood and you can see the trees behind me color are beautiful I can't uh, we don't have smell a vision we can't afford that and I don't think Facebook has that app but uh, if you could and if you've been out in the woods you know this smell of wet leaves and earth it smells awesome and so we go traipsing like good little two little dwarfs going through the woods I'll be happy and he'll be stinky. Oh, I'm stinky today. And the other dwarf, uh, what do we call Jer Bear? Um, let's see, what were the dwarf names? Stinky, uh, Dancer, Prancer, Gilligan, Mrs. Howell, we'll call him Mrs. Howell. He's gonna be up here soon so that he too can shake off the city and immerse himself in Michigan's outdoors. Dun, 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 dun. Did you do this? Dun, 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 dun. Did you make this poop? This poop scrape right here. Maybe just a squirrel's been there. Oh, the camera's been off the whole time. This man. What do you got? Well, oh. don't videotape me looking at this because I cannot figure out how to. That's why I want to videotape it. I'm videotaping his, our struggle against our oppressors that are holding us back. I went home, it's not doing anything. What? Uh-oh. All right, well, how about we just close and then try to... 
there's not a real connector to, to the main trail. I'll show you where the main trail is. Do you see something over there? What do you see? Is there a mousey? A, 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 a little worm? Oh, hey. <laughs> Phase one of today is done. We got uh, scouting around cruel dog stand. And uh, put a stick light ladder up so we got an alternate stand. Put another stand up so we got an alternate depending on the wind. And now we're going to get gray bear set up on the ground. Just like a right. bear. We'll go see. Make him a cave we'll or a see. den. We'll take a look see. He says we're going to go look. Never know. That doesn't sound very promising. Welcome to the crossroads. Hopefully we don't see Legba here. I'm not that good of a guitar player, so... I'm trying not to get you in the sunshine. Uh, this is where they cross. It's in the middle of the road. But we're going to scout around and see if we can find a ground spot. Ground spot? Ground blind for old Graber. Look what we got here. It's not Mr. Fancy Pants. Well, he brought his own beer, too. All right, he's coming. Let's, uh, let's surprise him. With what, like song and dance? Surprise! Surprise! Welcome to no TV camp! The one and only. He's a picking and I'm a clearing. The one and only. Second to none. You found it. You found it. Hey, what do we got back there? Get some woods traps in. I have 4,700. I got the old Jer Bear here at Deer Camp. Hi, oh, Jer Bear. Man. Welcome to Deer Camp. Oh, look, now he's being anti-social. You put him on camera and what? he hides yeah. his face. I know. Huh? What? Oh. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you can see my face. Where everybody go? All right. <laughs> Did the lights go out? Am I having a stroke? Night hunt. It's the night hunt, the Gray Bear. Was my you excited face. about your new spot? Who's, who's that? Who are we? Who? What? Oh, I'm very excited. You can't smell it? Look, you should be able to tell. Pee -pee Can I do that? Pee -pee hey, pee -pee. it's a family I affair. Not, I did not make piddles. Alright. Here we go. Gang's all here. Yeah, rolling out. Gang's all here. Can we get one of them hip hop Holy artists? Oh, God. What is that sunshine? Is just I know. killing. These bluebird days are throwing us off completely. That's what's going on. We're not nowhere. You know the funny thing? Yeah, how come we're not driving sideways On in my snow? way up here, it was uh, very overcast when I left. You brought yeah. the sunshine. It was, was it? Oh, yeah, it was. You Back by us. In. Back by us. Overcast. I was right. like, that's the what heck? Those trolls get. That's what you get for being trolls. All right, there we go. You don't want to be in yeah. deer camp, then you, you yeah. just got to have to deal with it. Nomad Outdoors TV 2019. Going to check out what we can see. Check out roll roll roll, roll out. Uh -huh. I gotta the, do right. On the grunt tube. Uh -huh. so Slapping it fresh. If he had the uh do rhymes. You gotta do the what yeah. Nomad Outdoors TV rolling out to see. Like you ain't never seen. Going Kicking in your door, taking stand your stand right now. Never mind, I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> taking your I don't ah, that's transistor over that. radios. Hopefully you want to see a deer and say wow. If you want to see a buck, say what, 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 what. Give me a buck, buck. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. Roll it. To throw with the deer truck. Oh, truck. Right when we right when we set it, a buck run right out in front. See, of us. give me a buck, buck. Throw in the truck, truck. Put your I think we're in the air like you don't care. We need a uh, some help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need a we need a country song is what Put we an need. Arrow in his ribs. Yeah. Oh, there's a yard for sale. I want you to. How much so for that yard, yard for sale? How much for that yard that he's got for sale? Just a yard. Just the one yard. It's I'll take one yard. Three feet. That's what he can get. Three feet's worth. I would like three, three feet. feet's worth, please. Three feet. I would take one yard. Up. You guys are seriously not going to believe this. So, we're coming out to our hunt spot that we've been 
not net now for three years. It's not a long time, but we looked down the trail and we're like, is that a deer? Is that a deer in the road? So of course all the binoculars are in the backpacks in the back of the truck. So we get out, grab our binoculars, look down, uh, look up the hill, and it's uh, another hunter. So we're like, wow, what the hell? So we pull up where we've been parking our truck for the last week. There's some guys parked there. I'm like, I'm gonna hunt here anyways. I got my stuff set up here. I felt bad for them. I mean, they were very, very polite. Uh, but I just, I cannot, I cannot get past the fact that no matter where Nomad Outdoors goes, somebody else comes in and tries to hunt by us. We, uh, hence the name Nomad Outdoors. We're always just, we gotta keep going further and further and further to try and get away from people. I mean, it's bow season. Come on, man. We never run into anybody on bow season. This year has been ridiculous. We have guys camping over there, guys camping over there, another camper going this way. I'm like, what is it, opening day of gun season? Damn. Probably ain't gonna see nothing tonight. There ain't gonna be no deer moving through here. Those guys trouncing around. I don't know. It is what it is. I'm not happy right now. Tonight's story has seemed to have been uh, getting overrun by other hunters again. So we pulled up, there was a truck actually parked in our parking spot. So there was a uh, not comforting, and then we ran into the guys, and they were cool, so that's a good thing. But they were set up like almost right on top of Cruel Dog. So he, we're talking about maybe having to move now. I had to reposition the trail camera that Cruel Dog set up for me. It wasn't watching the trail where I necessarily wanted, so. Um, it's not even 6.30 yet, so we still got a little over a half hour to hunt. Uh, back where I was, wasn't promising walking out here. I didn't even really see a lot of tracks. The run didn't seem super disturbed. I've seen a squirrel, so I at least saw something, and it's a beautiful night to be in the woods. It's actually not windy, and wasn't too overcast or nothing, so nice night to hunt, unfortunately, uh, between other people and something with the area. We don't know if maybe the coyotes are driving the deer away or what, because the last two years we've seen deer in this area, and we haven't seen anything really for the last week now that Cruel Dog and Grey Bear have been up here. This is my first time, and I'm a little away from them, so we'll see, but on my walk out, I didn't see any tracks, so I'm not super hopeful, but I'll definitely keep you guys in tune and updated. Uh, I'm just going to kind of let the night tick away. Obviously, uh, I'll catch up with you guys if we see anything, so suppose I will uh, sit here and now stick with what's become my catchphrase and see if anything shakes loose. My name is Jimmy Joe Bob and I'm from Wichita, Kansas, population 532,000. Yee-haw! Alright, uh, so Jerry Bear didn't see nothing, didn't hear nothing. Still, I see dead squirrel. quiet. You saw a dead squirrel? A live squirrel. Oh, he said dead and dead he said squirrel. Uh, so uh, that's our that's our truck report. Truck talk. Not a very motivation. No, not very no motivation. Thanks for tuning in to truck. Did you talk. poke the Did you pull the trail camera card? I did. All right, we'll see if it picked Probably anything up. Did nothing. Point. On the truck talk. Bye. Truck talk. Bye.